Now once the two turns out, that is basically the stock specs. Now this may change a little bit. So what you want to do is turn the higher screw about a quarter to a half a turn out a little bit more because once it's under load, you won't really be it won't be under load from half to idle. It'll only be from idle to full. So just turn your high screw up about a quarter to a half turn so that when it's under load it has that little bit extra fuel because when you're testing it just when it's like this under no load you want to give it a bit more fuel when it's under load because it's going to consume a bit more so a quarter to a half turn is good probably about a quarter is a bit better if it's idling bad um, like I said, use the idle screw to turn that in if it's idling too low. Um, if it's bogging out at high RPMs, it can either be it's turned too high or it's um, not, you know, it's not getting enough fuel. So you'll have to have a little play around with the high and low screws. So, um, you know, if it's if it's bogging out of high RPMs, you might be giving it too much fuel, so turn it in at about a quarter turn and then give it a rev at high RPMs and then see. And what you can also do is have it at idle and if it's running really crappy, just give it a few revs, play around with the low screw, give it a few little revs, and then do that until it's right. Put it to fuel th full throttle and keep on turning the high screw out or uh, yeah, keep on turning it out uh, very slowly until it um, it goes to you know it, it sounds nice. So you have to have a little bit of play around with it to tune it. It'll probably take about five minutes. Um, no, it depends. I mean, like for me, it takes about two minutes, maybe a minute. Um, but yeah, it just depends. But under load, you want to turn it just like I said that little bit a quarter to half turn out a little bit more. So when it's under load, um, it won't bog out. So that's basically how to fix your two-stroke engine. Uh, I've just given all the tips on how to, uh, all the problem solving of how to get it running, and then final steps of how to tune it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed my video, guys, and um, I'll catch you later.